Auto rotations is a flight condition where the helicopter's main rotor system is driven by the upward flow of air rather than by the engine power. This occurs when the engine fails or is intentionally disengaged as the rotor blades keep spinning because of the airflow moving up through the rotor system as the helicopter descends. So how does it work? In normal flight, the engine drives the main rotor pushing the air down to create lift. In an auto rotation, with the engine no longer providing power, the helicopter descends and air flows up through the rotor blades, keeping them turning. The potential energy from the helicopter's altitude is converted into kinetic energy, which keeps the rotor blades spinning. This spinning generates the necessary lift to control for the pilot to manage the descent and land the helicopter safely. If the engine fails, auto rotation is the pilot's go-to maneuver to land safely. The pilot can control the rate of descent and ultimately the landing by managing the rotor speeds and collective pitch. Pilots routinely practice auto rotations to be prepared for engine failures. It's a crucial skill that ensures the helicopter can land safely even without an engine. During auto rotation, the pilot controls the descent by adjusting the collective to maintain and manage the rotor speed and the glide path. By flaring or raising the nose of the helicopter just before landing, the pilot can reduce the descent rate and achieve a relatively smooth landing. In essence, auto rotation turns a potentially dangerous situation into a controlled descent, giving pilots the ability to safely land even when the engine is out of the picture. It's an incredible example of the unique capabilities of a helicopter. Be sure to like and subscribe for more information. If you're serious about helicopters and you don't know where to start, I'd love to help you out. I have a free course that's perfect for you. Click the link below to check it out.